Hello and welcome back to Sparkle My Pink. My name is Michelle and today I'm going to be opening up my Ipsy Glam bag and Ipsy Glam Plus bag for December 2018. Now before I get into it, I did try to film this once before and I hated the footage so I'm going to kind of recreate it today. But I also wanted to ask your opinion on something. I was thinking about doing something called like a year of Ipsy where I'll dig through my collection and kind of like match up what I received each month in my Ipsy bag and kind of do like a, a second run by on the products like did I use it was it worth it is there something I forgot about and maybe creating like a little bin for me to kind of dredge through those different samples because if you're getting five samples for 12 months that's like 56 items am I doing math right in my head could be wrong and it's also like $120 and now with the $25 subscription with the Ipsy Plus that's like $300 a year did I say a month before a year that's a lot of money so I hope I'm getting something out of it that I'm actually using so I figured maybe you'd be interested in seeing something like that maybe like 60 minute or 60 minute 60 second little blurbs on each month I don't know let me know in the comments down below also, I am wearing my Christmas sweater today, and it lights up. I have my uniform for school underneath, but isn't that cute? <laughs> and I was going to put on this lip, this beautiful lip from Pixie by Petra. This is their, like, real matte or ultra matte liquid lip in real red. But I'm actually going to get my new driver's license picture taken right after this. So I figured more of a nude, neutral lip with those a little more appropriate. So I'm wearing from the same brand, like the matte, mega matte glass liquid lip or something like that from Pixie in the shade Bare Beauty. These are so comfortable. I love them. I figured I'd give it a really quick shout out. Okay, so let's get into the Ipsy Glam bag. It is absolutely gorgeous. I couldn't be happier with this bag and I can't wait to swap out the one that's in my purse right now that carries like my daily like chapstick and contact lens solution and like the mascara for on the go. I'm going to swap it out for this because I love sparkles and it kind of matches my Christmas tree back here. I mean, I have little lipsticks on here and I have my little ornament from when we went to Vegas and I love my little beauty tree. So the first item I'm going to pull out is the cake heavy cream total to die for intensely smooth body butter balm and i think i've received this before see that would come in handy doing that year of ipsy kind of seeing oh i've gotten this twice now or have i actually gone through it and i really remember this smelling amazing i don't oh it's sealed i'll leave it sealed for right now because i feel like i have one open already but it'd be kind of nice to see like where i'm at with my collection the next thing is the Bang Beauty Blush in the shade Smoked Peach, but it looks really similar to one that I received, those circle ones that were like white and clear in the middle a couple months ago. So I think I'm going to hold off on swatching this one in case I want to gift it away. Oh, I wanted to mention that too. So I didn't do a holiday giveaway because I feel like everybody and their mom's doing one right now and I want to be different, but my birthday is in like two weeks. So... I keep an eye out for that. I would join my beauty chat community in Facebook. There's a link in the description box down below. Just throwing it out there. I would join that group. Okay, so this is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara and a Deluxe Sample Size. I feel like I've tried this before and I was kind of on the fence about it, but I'll give it another go because there was another mascara. I think I put it away, the Perversion. I think that's how you say it, from Urban Decay. I really didn't like it the first time I tried it. But then I received another deluxe sample size and I was desperate one day and I used it and I loved it. So, I don't know. The next thing I'm pulling out is the Oriza R, no, O-R-Y-Z-A Beauty. And it is a gorgeous rose gold lip gloss topper it looks like. Actually, I might want to put some on right now. This is in the shade Rose Glow. I haven't heard of this brand before though. <clears throat> Sorry, it's like early in the morning and sometimes my voice takes a little while to wake up. Um, I'm probably gonna have to go back to the, the ENT that I went to for my vocal surgery after all of this because I think I'm gonna have to get another follow-up surgery soon. Oh boy. And if you're curious about that story, I have videos on it. I've actually been doing really good. Ooh, that's really pretty. Okay, and it kind of went with the color I already had on. Nice. Okay, so the next thing is actually something I already own and I have it packed in my bag 
for school because we do facials and stuff like that at school. So sometimes I like to apply a little makeup if I know I have to go somewhere after class. And this is the brush I bring with me to do my highlighter with. It is from SL Miss Glam. I love the sparkle handle and the signature two rhinestones down here. I'm gonna keep this one in the plastic because I think I'm gonna add it to my makeup artist kit. So I can use it on clients because I really do like it. It's super soft and it's perfectly tapered to get this little area right here. I really like it. Let me know if you're curious to see what I bring back and forth with me to school because it's not a lot. It's just kind of enough to like touch up your makeup um, because we do it so often and I'm like, well, I still have to go somewhere after school. So let me know if you're interested in seeing that. And the last thing in this month's Ipsy Glam bag is this brush the blending brush from Farah? it's actually broken so i'm going to keep it in the plastic for right now you see right here at the end it's the tips just broken off not the end of the world but it's a little disappointing and yeah it's just like a regular dual fiber blending brush i do like brushes like this that have the white tips i feel like they blend a bit better than ones that aren't like that i don't know i like these types of brushes and if you didn't catch on already there was a six item in this month's glam bag because the card inside says check inside for our holiday gift to you a bonus six glam bag product that was kind of nice normally we we'll only get five things now i'm only like super excited and over the moon probably about the brushes and the lip gloss um, these I probably could have done without. I think I need to check the survey. And because I had to create a second profile, I may get duplicates in my glam bag than in my Ipsy Plus. Because my Ipsy Plus was my original subscription that I've had since like 2013. So it kind of, I felt like that one knew me. And this one's new and it's kind of getting some traction. So let's go over to the glam bag plus. The plus bag, whatever you want to call it. The first thing I pulled out was the Lancome Le Monochromatique, and it is a gorgeous shade of brown. It would be a great all over one colored eyeshadow look. I did put a little bit right over here on my outer corner, and it's just a very creamy brown, but it feels really good when you're swatching it out, and it's a pretty big pan. This is in the shade a la mode. The next thing, which I was a little surprised because it's kind of like getting two of the same, is the Smith & Colt Book of Eyes Eye Quad Palette in Mannequin Moves. And Smith & Colt has some interesting packaging. It looks like it's like dented in over here and kind of like on the bottom. I think I have a lipstick from them and if I remember correctly, that lipstick bullet has like the indents on it too. That's kind of like their thing. And then inside, you'll see it has a huge mirror, but that the palette is kind of like odd-ended in there. The only thing with this is I have a Lancome quad palette thing that is very, very similar. This is the color design palette illuminatrice de regard. Sorry, I'm not French. And it looks very, very similar. So I don't think I'm going to touch this one at the moment. I feel like I'm being super late, not swatching out a bunch of things for you. And I'm sorry, but I don't want to be wasteful. And I've kind of gotten to the point in my collection where sometimes I get things in these subscriptions and I'm like, ooh, I have not only like an exact of it, like I have another one of this or I have something so super similar that it's not even like it's, I shouldn't touch it. I shouldn't be wasteful. So I think I'm going to hold off on touching this at the moment and see what I'm going to do with it. Not that it's not good, but you get the drift. The next thing is kind of like, whoa, out there. Um, and I'll mention why. It is the 111 Skin. This is a vitamin C brightening booster. I know vitamin C is really great for hyperpigmentation and brightening the skin and just kind of like bring some life back to it. Yeah, and it says improve dull or lax skin. But let me show you the formula. It's a little bit different. So it's definitely going to be something you're going to want to mix in with your moisturizer because it's so liquidy. And I personally, because I am acne prone, have to be careful with how much I use vitamins, how much of vitamin C I use. I hope that made sense. Because um, it can tend to make me a little more sensitive with the acne products that I'm using. But it is so good for your skin for cell turnover and just overall brightening and things like that. So... This here, when I was looking through the pamphlet, is like $180 or something like that. And I was like, whoa. It, unless it does 
super magical things. $180 for not even a full ounce. I don't know. That one we're definitely gonna have to try. Um, but to be fair, the eyeshadow individual from Lancome is 25. The Smith and Colt is 44. And then I have two more things that I'm gonna show you here right now. I have an Estee Lauder lipstick in the, the type is the Pure Color Love in the shade Flash Chill. The only thing is it's kind of like this bright orange and peachy bright oranges don't look good on my skin tone. So I'm not gonna touch this one either. I'm so sorry. I have something similar to this in my collection already, like this shade tone, not this formula. I know, I'm sure this formula is amazing. And the packaging is kind of cool. Let me show you how it goes back in. It's really pretty and it's got the color on the end and just kind of like bloop. And then you can kind of store it like this and it looks pretty. It'd be really pretty if I put it out here. But I don't want to be, again, wasteful because I know this is something that's like really nice and high end. But it's just not a shade that I personally will wear or enjoy. Then the last thing in the plus bag is this set of three brushes from Farah. So if you remember, we already got the blending brush from them. <laughs> from them. And this is going to be a angled like contour type brush. Again, I love these types of bristles. I use a lot of them. Like you'll see my Luxie brushes here, the ones with the white tip. Those are the types of brushes I personally like to use. I feel like they blend everything out nicely. We have a stipple brush, and then we have a more blush slash powder brush in the collection. I haven't decided what I wanna do with these, but I love that they're tapered off at the end and they have like a little gripping place. So it sits so, not ergonomically, what's the word? Like, I can't think of the word, but you know what I mean? Where it just sits nicely in the hand for application. That's gonna bother me dynamically I obviously need to brush up on my vocabulary oh and let me show you I got a bag in this month's ipsy plus which I know they're doing away with the bags to kind of like turn the money they were spending on the bags into you know better products but I got this bag how cool is that I showed you like a little heart um, but it's a flip bag so it's not even mine anymore because you know who's gonna get it I'm gonna have to end up giving it to Sophia because if she sees this and I didn't show her or give it to her or something like that. I think she's going to flip out. She's so into these flippy sequin things right now. I think I'm going to put this in her Christmas stocking. I think she'd really like it. But that is all. That is everything that came in my Ipsy boxes. Usually December is like bomb.com. But for some reason, I'm feeling a little lackluster this month um, with both of them. There's a couple of things I like and that I'll use. But then there's a couple of things where I'm like not that this is bad I just don't want it you in this color so I'm being a little snobby but I hope you enjoyed this and I know I asked a couple of questions earlier in the video so be sure to hit those up in the description box down below or the comment area down below and I hope you have a wonderful Christmas have lots of love and family and cookies and I hope to see you in a video very soon bye